natural drivers that we have as a human. And so this, this need to be in alignment with who we think we are on the deep inside. And mm-hmm. when you do things that aren't in alignment with that, whether that's like, oh, I didn't do this task or I didn't pursue that thing in the way that I knew I could, I didn't do it with 100% me, then you feel a little bit like a hypocrite inside, right? And it's like self-esteem is the reputation that you have with yourself. And you know, like other people don't necessarily know if you phoned it in, but you know, and and that's that's mental tax. Dude, 100%. And you'll never get away with it, right? Nope. You, you can't you fool will. yourself. Right, right, right. <laughs> It's um, it's interesting because that's a function of self awareness, right? Where mm-hmm. one lens is looking out at the world, and the other le- lens is looking back at self constantly. And there's a lot of research that says you never forget one single thing you ever see, do, or learn. Um, just because you can't access it doesn't mean that it's not stored in your operating system as the way to move through the world, which mm-hmm. is precisely how we learn. And so, yeah, like that's the real problem, right? I used to tell myself when I was at the end of my military career, I was really over it. At the same time, I had businesses that I like really cared about. And so I would give myself to these businesses and then I would like resent the military when I was at work. And I thought that mm-hmm. I could keep up this split life. And actually, I just, what happened is that resentment, you know, resentment, for example, if you're doing something you don't want to do, that'll bleed into every aspect of your life. It's a insatiable hunger. It'll take over everything. And so what, that's exactly what happened. Like, I was fooling myself that I could keep all these different parts of my life compartmentalized. And then you lay down in your head at night and the part of you that knows you mailed it in at work is the part of you that's laying your head down at night and you're not going to forget about it. And unfortunately, kind of a cruel trick of the psyche also can use be used for growth if you look at it that way. But when things come to an end, right, relationship part projects, whatever it is, you're instantly going to become aware of all of the ways in which you did not show up to your capacity. Mm -hmm. Like it's the thing that crushes people about breakups, for example, like, especially if they've like, you know, whatever, maybe you, like, I remember uh, last breakup that was particularly difficult. I just remember thinking about all the times I sat on the couch, looking at my fucking phone on Instagram with her right next to me. And I was just zoned out and how much I thought like, I'd give anything to just go back to that evening and put my fucking phone down. And so 